hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is i agree chick so my apologies for not turning in this video on time i have been very sick and to make matter worse i was taking a book <laughs> it was my name okay um but now i know that agbo is for preventive medicine why malaria drug or those drugs are for creative medicine so i have run and gone by malaria drug and i'm getting better all right so let's proceed to today's video Okay, so like we discussed in my previous video, my 400 level IT year was divided into two parts, in-station and out-station. So during my in-station, we were divided into groups and um, I think I had the most wonderful group members. <laughs> Anyways, we were divided into groups and then we had a lot of practical classes and practical works. Even though most of the practical work were clearing of bushes. <laughs> They use us, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so that was for in station. That was during first semester. So the first three months of my 400 level was for in station. Then the remaining three months was for out station, which is second semester. So because of our number, they shared us into two groups: batch A and batch B. Batch A left for Songhai in January, and uh, because I fell under batch B, we left for Songhai on the 21st. February 2022. Mm. Okay, so we gathered our bags, packed everything, full stuff, and everything. And then we set up the journey. I think my trip, the ride to Songhai, was one of the most interesting trips I've ever had. You know, all those like when you're going for camping and everything. So, like, we had all the giant inside the bus, and it was this very big Oshimole Luxurious buses. Like, it was mad fun. We're vibing, we're singing, we're jubilating, dancing, and everything inside the bus. <laughs> ah, this video will explain everything better. Okay, so we landed on the shores of Delta State. At about 12 p.m., we left at about 10 and landed by 12 p.m. So, I'm gonna, um, Delta State is not really far from Benin per se, especially Sapley. It's about actually 45 minutes if you take normal vehicle, but because of the bus that we carried, if you are in Benin, you know that Oshimole bus is actually very, very slow on the road. <laughs> so, it took about like two hours, one hour, 30 minutes thereabouts. And so when we got to Songhai, we were actually welcomed, we were received, we offloaded our bags and for check-in. So they have rules in Songhai. <laughs> As it's a family establishment, they have rules. And part of the rules is that there is no cooking. No cooking at all. <laughs> no cooking at all. So they were searching our bags for contrabands like hot plates, toasters, iron, boiling ring so they're searching our bags for all of those things but you know what disclaimer i think uh, if you actually wanted to carry things to some guy people would have actually been able to carry because if you see the way they were searching like they were just shaking the bag they never opened the bag or anything so it was not really a major searching if you ask me so anyways so let me give you a breakdown of the history of some guy so so some guy delta state was founded in 2000 by the then governor of delta state governor ibori well, for all the Nigerian historians, you know the story of Ibori. <laughs> well, so it was founded by Ibori in 2000, and um, it was to act as a training and production center for the agricultural sector. So it was meant to train people, and really that's what it has actually been doing since it was founded. And um, there's another story, actually, to the history, that it was actually founded by an evil man, like the idea, the whole idea of Songhai was founded by an evil man. Um, it was actually a Catholic priest, and um, the headquarters of Songhai is in Benin Republic. In fact, many of our coordinators, our teachers in Songhai, actually attested to the fact that they went to um, Benin Republic for trainings at the initial um, when when Songhai was actually founded. 
he went to Benin Republic for training first. In fact, the farm manager even told me himself that they went for they went to Songa for trainings and what have you before they now came back to the Delta State branch that is actually been um, that's actually been controlled by the federal government and Delta State government as you have it. So that's about the history of Songhai. It's actually a very wonderful place, the scenery and everything. Okay, things of note, things of note as we landed that we saw was first of all the supermarket. <laughs> An almost empty supermarket. I don't understand why you have a supermarket in a farming institute and it's almost empty. Like See, if you're a student of Unibin and you're watching this, and maybe you're in 100 level or 200 level, just know that Amber supermarket is empty. There's nothing inside. You could basically, if you want to get like basic amenities, you can, you, you may not see it there. You rarely see it there. Maybe when you go there, they'll tell you it has finished. <laughs> so, this is market number one. Then we have the administrative block. So, for the administrative block, that's where we went to pay our hostel accommodation. So, for the project, we're going to stay in Songhai five weeks. Five good weeks of not cooking. <laughs> oh, I've never broken that one down yet. Five good weeks of not cooking. Mm. All right. So we went to pay for our hostel accommodation. So they have three accommodation, three different type of accommodation in Songhai. We have the hostels, we have the self-contained, and we have the guest house. So for the hostels, the amount is ten thousand naira. I don't know that it has increased. The amount that when I was there was ten thousand naira. Um, the hostel is just like normal school hostel. You have bunk beds and everything, but just that it's more spacious than school hostel. Then the self con, just like you say, self con, you to your toilet and bathroom, and um, it's thirty five thousand naira. But you can share it with somebody and pay seventeen seventeen each. Then the guest house for the big boys and the big girls. It's four thousand naira per night. <laughs> well, it's interesting that some of our classmates actually, actually opted for the guest house and they stayed for the total period of time that we're in Songhai. Mm. Four k times, it was thirty five days. Calculate it by yourself. So that was how accommodation was. Then what else? There was also an ostrich, ostrich at the entrance. So when you just enter into Songhai, you see two ostriches. And also the deck, um, the dock pen. So I think those are those add um aesthetic value to the whole place. I'm just trying to welcome you to the place. But guy, what's inside is thick forest. <laughs> so that's all about the scenery of Songhai as you get into the building. Okay, so after we settled in, um, paid for accommodation. And um, had something to eat. Mm. <laughs> had something to eat. I would say, mm, because there's, there's, a, there's a lot of story about the food. <laughs> okay. 